Hey guys, a little while ago I was out organizing my car and I was putting away a pair of my sunglasses that had one of those really cool popular uh, eyeglass retainer strap systems that you see is really popular uh, at all the uh, tackle shops and uh, outdoor shops and stuff like that. Well, here's a quick and easy way to make some really cool, unique eyeglass straps using a cable or heavy fishing line or uh, braided fishing line or something of that nature, whatever you think is kind of cool, and some shrink tubing. Really easy, really quick. Here's how you can do it. Okay, first thing you want to do is find a pair of sunglasses, right? And then you get your shrink tubing. This stuff's really cool. You can pick it up at a local department store, hardware store, you name it. But make sure you've got a size of shrink tubing that before you shrink it, it'll fit on your sunglasses on the arms and hold it really snugly so it won't fall off. Because that's the whole concept, right? So here all I've done is taken a piece of it and I've put it onto one of the arms. Holds it really well, right? Pretty cool. Then... Pull it back off, find your halfway point on it because you want to, you know, make sure both sides are equal so it doesn't look, a, you know, a little bit off. One of the perfect you can, right? And you just cut it. So now you got two of the same length uh, shrink tubes. Really quick, really easy. What I have here is a, uh, just a, uh, a cable that's actually off of a, a charger that I had. I thought it was pretty cool. It's white. A little bit of thicker consistency. You can see it a little bit better here also for the video than some of the things you can use. Now, uh, you can use mono, you can use fluoro, you can use braided fishing line. The only problem you have is you got to make sure your shrink tubing will shrink enough to snugly tighten down on it. Plus, if you're going to take this and you're going to heat it up with a lighter, what's going to happen if you have the, the say if it's braid or, or uh, you know, mono or you know, fluoro when it's like, you know, it's nylon, basically. It's going to melt possibly before this actually does. So, what I do, no matter what, I kind of get an idea of how much I have to shrink it, right? Because even this, you know, it's got some rubberized coating on it. So, I'm going to take my shrink wrap here, and I'm going to probably figure about halfway is all I want to start shrinking. And I'm going to go ahead and pre-shrink some of it. You know, you don't want to hold it in one place very long. Okay, there. So I shrunk it just a little bit, okay? So that means when I stick the cable inside, I don't have to, you know, burn it a whole lot, heat it up a whole lot, because obviously then I'll burn my cable. So you just take it, I kind of heated it a little bit just to shrink it a little bit here. Uh, make sure you can still fit it inside the shrunken part though. Depends again on what size of a cable or what type of material you're using. But uh, you may need to preheat it a little bit to shrink it down so you don't burn it. And then once you've got it in there a little bit, right, without heating it in the same spot, start shrinking it down. There we go. The other side here I just did. There we go. So now I've got a cable with two little rubberized ends on it here. Let's see how it works. So I've got the two ends. I've got the piece of cable. Make sure you know you snug on it a little, put it, pick on it a little bit, push on it and pull it. Make sure it's not going to loosen up. And if it feels like it's still a little bit loose in there, just put a little bit more heat on it. Okay. So like here, I got a little tiny bit of play in this side here. But again, you gotta be careful. You don't want to overheat the thing, obviously, because you overheat it, and it's just gonna, you know, melt your cable. There you go. Take the other end. It's pretty snug. But again, just be very careful. There right, you go. So now, again, that's the finished product, basically. Take them and stick them on. There. And there. 
There you go. Your own cable, eyeglass, or sunglass retaining strap. Works really well. See? It's a little snug too, so you can't really just pull it right off without kind of working it on and off. But uh, there you go. This one here, again, was just from a uh, uh, phone charger and some uh, shrink tubing. You can try with a whole bunch of different things. Just remember if it's got a rubberized or nylon or some type of material or coating on it that will melt when you start heating up that uh, shrink tubing. It might melt on your burn all the way through or kink on your who knows what. So kind of choose wisely. Make sure the shrink wrap fits really snugly on it uh, before you start finally heating it all the way up uh, so you don't have to put as much heat on it for as long a time that might uh, mess up your uh, cable material. But there you go. Really cool. Works well. Hope you, you know. Hope it works out for you. Go ahead and try it out. Like I said, just a piece of uh, shrink wrap tubing at your local hardware store and any type of cable material you want to use. Just make sure you don't burn it. All right? Thanks for watching fishacker.com. As always, please subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.